You can always tell when someone is lying because generally speaking, they tend to be pretty bad at it. So this past weekend, black girl gamers decided to respond to my recently uploaded video with a whopping 33 part thread, which included a series of screenshots and receipts to, I'm assuming, expose me as the supposed liar that I am. Let me just clarify what my intentions are about this video. I don't actually care whether or not BGG continues on as an organization or a community. I don't care, you know, because if BGG were to evaporate tomorrow, DEI, which is the ideology that they've built their community on, would still exist. You're going to find it everywhere. And if you know anything about DEI, you know that it's just a cute, fancy, acceptable term for Marxism. And if you've read anything or watched any of my videos, you know that Marxism is a poison and it will continue to infect our society until people wise up and understand how to effectively argue against it. You simply saying I'm not racist is not a good way to argue against DEI. So I'm going to help you guys out. All right. We're going to look at this thread together. So I hope you've cleared your schedule because this is a doozy. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at these threads and I'm going to give you guys my two cents. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Part one, we're here to provide you with the thread of Gothics TV's engagement with black girl gamers from 2017 to the present day, featuring her interactions with the cookout community, which has since been dissolved. Fortunately, both communities documented our engagements with Gothics TV, and contrary to previous statements that Gothics TV made, she was never recruited to be BGG, and she voluntarily left the community in 2019. Receipts enclosed, okay? Okay, so Gothics TV, aka Vanessa Rosa, per her IMDB, just so you guys know, they're not doxing me. I'm very open about what my name is, was never recruited by Black Girl Gamers. In October 2017, Gothics TV joined BGG after learning about the community, as many of our members do via social media or word of mouth. Community membership does not equal employment or contractor. Okay, well, let's stop there. I've never said that I was employed, I never said that I was a freelancer or a contractor. I said I was a member, which I was. I was a member of your 10,000 plus safe space community that you advertise on your website. And also, by the way, just for the record, you said that as many of our members do, they found BGG via social media and word of mouth. So where did I hear about BGG from? Did I just randomly come across it online or did someone from BGG tell me about it with their mouth <laughs> like hello and so the the evidence that they're providing here is my introductory post that I made on their Facebook group I don't know what this proves except for the fact that I joined their Facebook group all right, but let's let's continue, okay? Upon joining, it is important to note that she agreed to adhere to our community guidelines, which prohibit the <laughs> exhibition of anti-blackness, transphobia, respectability politics and discrimination against religion, culture, sexual orientation, and gender in the community. And here is the list of rules for their Facebook group. Okay. Now, uh, before I continue, I've already made this, uh, I've already brought this up in a previous video. So, all right, I agree to the rules of your Facebook group and your rules are to not exhibit anti-blackness. What is the standard for anti-blackness? Specifically, where is the objective standard of what constitutes as blackness? Where can I find that? Furthermore, what is hate speech? You say that hate speech is not acceptable in this community, but then you also say that uh, healthy debate is natural. So, so tell me what constitutes as hate speech? What is the objective standard for hate speech? Is it universal or are you just making it up? Is it just based on your own subjective personal feelings? And by the way, how can you have a community that claims to respect religion? Because as someone who is a new believer in Christ, I've been told many times that I am hateful for simply stating, for example, that God made male and female. And that is hateful for me to acknowledge biology. Well, that is what my religion says. You're contradicting yourself with this. While she was in the community, Black Girl Gamer supported and uplifted Gothics TV and she reciprocated the support. However, she was never a freelancer, contractor, or employee. I've never said this, so I don't know why you're saying this. But yeah, and, and I have 
I have admitted, yeah, I believed in the message of BGG, which we'll get to in a second, because I know a lot of people have been asking me, Gothics, why did you join this community to begin with? I believed in the message of BGG at the time. I believed in the message of the cookout at the time. I recognize that these are two entirely different groups. Members have overlapped in these groups. I'm making that distinction here. But all that to say, I believed in the message, which is why I joined. Now, here's where it starts to get fun. Okay. When Gothics TV also experienced racism from the gaming community, our private community was a safe space for her and supported her. This further clarifies why our private community exists so that when our members experience this behavior, they have a safe a safe space to retreat. So I'm going to read this rather embarrassing post that I left on their Facebook group and we're going to talk about it. Here is the post. Hey queens, I apologize if this is not allowed, so please delete if necessary. So I'm a Twitch streamer and last night's stream was absolutely horrendous. I try not to let things bother me. I actually have really thick skin. But racism in particular really irks me. Yesterday, I legitimately had to ban about 10 people within an hour who kept using variations of the N-word and threatening me because of the color of my skin. I totally understand that trolls come and go through Twitch as it comes with the territory. What I'm completely astonished by is that I have over 10 variations of the N-word assigned to my chat bot. So it will auto block the chatter for saying one of these words. Basically, just clever ways someone could write the N-word that I've sort of compiled over the last couple of months. I'm curious. Do any streamers in here have an extensive list of bots like I'm creating or any other safety measures aside from endless mods? If anything, these receipts are showing you my wake up moment as it's happening. I used to be so fragile. <laughs> you know, if someone said the N word to me, I was so fragile and I crumbled the moment someone said something mean to me, specifically if it was the N word or some type of a racial slur. And the thing that woke me up to realize that mm, it's actually my choice if I choose to be offended by words is when black girl gamers decide to start calling me a coon, anti-black, uh, suggested I'm shucking and jiving for the white man. What does that show you? It goes to show you that it's, it's really not a matter of people saying hurtful things against me because of my skin color. It's a matter of these are words that I personally hate and I want them eradicated from the public square. And I started to compile a list of variations that people could write the N word so it wouldn't populate in my live chat when I was streaming. Imagine that for a second. That is exhausting. Going through all of that trouble to create measures that people can't say certain words in your chat. Imagine if I still believe this. Imagine how long that list would be, how many words would be on that list. And so to the beginning of this video where I said that DEI is a form of Marxism, what Marxists do is that they weaponize this idea of social justice and equity and inclusion and diversity and tolerance. And they use it as a tool to push for their communist ideas. So specifically with this, you're pushing for censorship. You're pushing for people to assimilate to a specific way of thinking. Because when I ask you what is hate speech or what is the objective standard of anti-blackness, you're not gonna be able to give me an answer. You know why? Because it's all based on human opinion, which means that you're relying on human beings to tell you what is hateful. Well, everyone has their own definition of what is hateful. You know, you guys call me a coon and anti-black and all these other words. And I'm assuming you're saying it because, oh, that, that ought to show her, right? But I'm not affected by it anymore. Thank God. In response to Gothics TV's question about tips on safety, streaming on April 11, 2018, a BGG admin suggested streaming under our FKA Twitch community slash team. By definition, it's voluntary to stream to a Twitch community and you are not employed or contracted. I don't know why they keep saying this. I never said that I was employed or contracted to be a part of BGG. I said I was recruited to be a member, which you just admitted. Okay, so let me ask you this. Can I add myself to a Twitch team? Like, can I go on to Twitch right now, find a, a Twitch team and, and join it? Or do I have to wait for someone to invite me, which then I will have to accept the invitation before being added to the Twitch team? Which one is it? Did you send me an invite or did I add myself to the Twitch team? 
When the founder of Black Girl Gamers attended TwitchCon with any key, she took pictures with several BGG members whom she ran into at the event, including Gothics TV, as this is how we show love in the community. This is all fluff. Like, what is it? Like, I don't get it. This is fluff. Obviously, the founder went to TwitchCon. I was there. <laughs> like, I don't get it. In 2019, following the casting announcement of The Little Mermaid, Gothics TV shared tweets about Ariel's casting, sparking controversy on Twitter. What was the controversy? Do you have receipts for the controversy? Do you have uh, like the specific statement of what the controversy was? I mean, I do. That's the whole premise of my documentary. I do. But let's continue. July 6th, 2019, Gothics messaged the cookout expressing her belief that it was best to part ways with them due to the alleged harassment she had been receiving because of her Little Mermaid tweet. Please know BGG and the cookout are separate communities. I've stated this. Uh, while a few members might have dual memberships, as I've stated, someone in BGG might, might not be in the cookout and vice versa. Fair enough. I've stated this. Although the cookout no longer exists, the following records of their interaction with Gothics were retained due to comments she had been making after she voluntarily departed from the community. Gee, I wonder why. If, a, if an environment is so hostile, why the hell would anyone choose to continue being in there? You know, but we're going to get to that in a second, by the way. I don't want to jump too far ahead because they're saying that I voluntarily left. Okay, put a pin in that for a second. So here is the message that I sent to the leader of the cookout. In this message to the cookout, Gothics also initially stated that she had felt that the most of the harassment she had been receiving was from members of the cookout. And in a later message, she clarified that she was unsure. She did not reference BGG at all. So here is the message. Let me just give you a, a quick rundown. So I was talking to to Lila to see if it would be best to part ways with a cookout. After my tweet yesterday, I've been hit with a lot of hate and the majority of people who were from the cookout. Lila mentioned that she stepped down as admin. So if you would like me to leave, I'll respect that. I've just never found it possible to call another black person a coon or insult someone else's partner to name a few of the messages because of an opposing view that was misinterpreted tenfold. Uh, yeah, they, they literally came after my black husband and insinuated that he was white. I mean, even to this day, if you go on social media people seem to think that I have white parents it's crazy people are nuts so I had compiled a google drive of various screenshots of members who were saying the the most hateful thing you want to talk about hate speech and bullying the most nasty derogatory things from both of these communities I compiled into a google drive and I sent to this person all right and it was so overwhelming that I literally admitted I don't have the energy to go through all of this you know I was in a really bad headspace and and again i emphasize this because this is supposedly a community that cares about uplifting one another clearly they don't you know it's funny that they showed this older tweet of me feeling so victimized at the fact that someone would call me the n-word when i'm streaming and 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 making the point that oh we provided support to her we rallied behind her but the second it's your own people where's my protection now where is it oh yes it's because of what do you call it respect Ability politics. Yeah, the dominant culture that you want to adhere to is that of black excellence, where you just yas queen and clap back on social media, thinking that you're somehow eradicating racism as a result. All right, let's continue. <laughs> All right, so uh, the cookout expressed that they do not condone harassment and would address the matter once she provided evidence, which I did in this screenshot here. They also expressed that they wouldn't ask her to leave the community due to her point of view. On July 18th, 2019, Gothics was removed from the Black Girl Gamers Twitch community team for violating our rules while streaming. She wasn't fired or removed from the community at that point. She was just no longer allowed to associate her personal channel with BGG. And here is the uh, the thing. Gothics has be been removed from the Twitch team. She is currently making problematic statements on her stream. What do you mean by problematic? What's the objective standard of problematic? What are you talking about? Can I get some specific guidelines of what would classify as a problematic statement? What is it? It's interesting that they never actually include that. What is it? What are the problematic statements? Additionally, the cookout also explained that the community wasn't upset just because of the aerial casting, but also due to previous comments she had made, which were... What were, what were the comments? 
The cookout tried to mitigate the situation. However, Gothics TV chose to leave their community on her own accord on July 9th. That same day, Gothics TV left the cookout. She also voluntarily left the BGG community before we could reach out. That's odd. So you removed me from the Twitch team. You admit that. You didn't reach out to me. You didn't say what the problematic statements were. You just removed me quietly. And then after a few days or maybe a day, I can't remember, I removed myself from the Facebook community. Well, I mean, duh. I'm getting no response from you. You're not addressing any of my concerns. No shit, I'm gonna leave. See, what they're doing is, is they're playing semantics, all right? <laughs> and, and this is why they're saying, well, she voluntarily left. Following her voluntary exit from BGG, Gothics messaged our Twitter page alleging harassment by members of BGG and the cookout on Twitter. We requested details about the individuals involved to investigate. She didn't respond and subsequently blocked BGG. Does that sound logical to you? Like if I was desperate for someone to help me in a situation, why would I then block the person that I'm hoping would intervene? Okay, so let, let's read this right here. The entire weekend at TwitchCon, I heard from numerous cookout folks that they were getting harassed for coming to my meetup or getting confronted via DM because they are still associating with me for more opinions. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't even sound like a coherent sentence. Hmm. It seems as though there's a certain part of this message that was omitted, which I'll get to in a second. But hmm, that's very interesting. We're going to come back to this in a second. All right. But let's continue. Since Gothics blocked us and never responded to our messages requesting the names of the individuals involved, it prevented Black Girl Gamers from launching a formal investigation into her allegations. And here is the part two, my friends, because one part just wasn't enough. So we're going to address this and then we're going to take a look at the part two. So this is what I'll say about this. Black Girl Gamers is claiming that because I supposedly blocked them on Twitter, they were un able to launch a formal investigation into who was harassing me. And yet they seem to have compiled an extensive list of screenshots and, and statements that I've said throughout the years. So you can investigate something that one person said, but you're apparently blind to thousands of members from your community that you run. You're just blind to it. Can't see it. Oh, she blocked me. So I can't, I can't investigate it. So now let's look into this claim that I blocked them. Okay, I'm going to show you guys something. So here's the first thing that I want you guys to pay attention to. The screenshots that they showed you guys from our Twitter DMs implies that I blocked them. And because I blocked them, they were unable to follow up. So this is a burner account that I have. This is just me. And I blocked myself. All right. This account doesn't have me blocked. I'm going to show you right now. Okay. Unblock. All right. Say they don't, it doesn't have me blocked. So I'm going to block it again block. Okay. And now I'm going to go into my DMS and I'm going to show you what it says. So here's a tweet that I sent to myself, right? You can no longer send messages to this person. So in other words, BGG blocked me. And even though they did that, it still appears as though I'm preventing them from reaching out. No, you have me blocked. Okay. Actually you have me blocked. What do you mean? <laughs> Hello? So it says here, hey there, this is for Jay, which is the owner of BGG. I'm not sure if she runs this Twitter account, but I need you to pass this along to her. I've been getting harassed for months from your members, as well as members of the cookout. And it seems the only thing that was done about it from BGG specifically was me being removed from the Twitch team. I'm going to copy and paste the message that I sent blank for context. So I appreciate your attention. Hey blank, I wanted to send you the courtesy email before I start publicly speaking out about my experiences with the cookout. Ideally, I would appreciate you take some action to address this further as nothing has changed since I initially alerted you to the harassment I was getting on Twitter and Twitch. This entire weekend at TwitchCon, I learned from numerous cookout folks that they were getting harassed for coming to my meetup or getting confronted via DM because they are still associating with me. For more context, my POC supporters are the ones getting harassed, which is just like a cult, by the way. You know, imagine going to a convention and being approached by the other blacks and them getting mad at you because you're associating with the quote unquote anti-black. You can't talk to her. 
Why are you talking to her? That is a cult. Here's the part that they conveniently left out when they posted that screenshot. And then yesterday, I'm sure you saw the subtweet from blank boasting about how I'm using my mental health as a ploy to manipulate people. I had a suicide attempt during my break as a result of the mass amounts of hate mail I was getting from cookout members, hate mail and memes. Like I said, I was very fragile back then. <laughs> um, I was... Yeah, I, I attempted suicide. I, I'm going to be straight up with you. This is one of the things that I really hate about quote unquote safe space communities is they isolate you from different ideas and opinions, which means you never grow in emotional resilience. You maintain a level of sensitivity where memes and words will destroy you. And it destroyed me. But in any case, let's continue. I've spoken with a few other ex-cookout members who have had very similar interactions with other members for disagreeing or having differing opinions. This is not what I signed up for when I was told the cookout was an inclusive community. There is nothing that you or anyone can say to justify any of this hostility over a tweet where I stated an opinion. I'm okay with people sharing theirs and letting me know that they don't agree with me. I'm not okay with being personally attacked for it. I'm really sorry, blank, for bringing this up, but enough is enough. I'll be sending a message to Black Girl Gamers as well, as you both share a lot of the same community members. And so as you can see, they responded, hey, I'm sorry to hear this. I'm keen to investigate further. Can you let me know any of the individuals involved? And then you blocked me. And then you said, I blocked you. So this is why they conveniently left out that part of the message that I just read to you because in this message, I specifically mention a community member of Black Girl Gamers and what they were saying. And of course, if they included that in the tweet, then it would show that they actually didn't do anything. Oh yeah, safe space. You're against bullying. This is a space of inclusion. Healthy debate is natural, you say. Yeah? Like I said, you can tell when someone's lying because they're really bad at it. We never heard from Gothics TV again until 2020 when she began spreading false narratives about the cookout and black girl gamers, as if both communities hadn't previously tried to address her concerns when they were raised actively. Once again, you were unable to launch a formal investigation in regards to the hate I was receiving from your community members, but you somehow found the time to compile years worth of screenshots that document every single thing I have said about your community. Make it make sense. You just didn't want to launch an investigation. Just say that. Just be honest. You didn't want to investigate my claims because you actually agree with my harassers. Just say it. <laughs> just say it. Be honest. All right. So here is the message that they have included. Hey, Twitch, I love you, but I've got something to say. It's Black History Month on Twitch and I'm here for it. Actually, I'm, I'm not anymore. <laughs> you want to promote Black History Month? Put Thomas Sowell on the front page of Twitch. Put Eric July, Candace Owens, put Chad o. Jackson on the front page. You're not, of course you're not, of course. Yes, because they're not politically black enough. What I'm not here for is rewarding the streamers who participated in a public hate mob towards me, which by impression on my mental health. These same streamers preach inclusiveness, had no problem publicly calling me a coon, a dirty N word, and editing a Donald Trump hat on my photos for the sake of boosting their Twitter impressions. Also side note, I used to have massive Massive Trump derangement syndrome. So back when this was happening, I was actually triggered at the fact that these people were photoshopping a Donald Trump hat on my on my photos. And so, by the way, I voted for Trump. <laughs> so, and so, um, what is that implying there? That's implying that if you are not in lockstep with the Marxist politically correct narrative that is prevalent in black girl gamers or any of these inclusive DEI communities, then you are automatically with Trump. You're automatically a Republican. You're automatically a conservative. Blackness is political because again, nobody can seem to define what the standard, the objective standard of blackness is. You have to understand how jarring it is to know that no one would listen to you when you were at the lowest point of your life and to go on to Twitch and see your harassers celebrated on the front page of Twitch, that is disgusting. I went on social media and made a point to call you guys out whenever I could, because if that happened to me, it can happen to anyone else. And I do not want anyone to experience that type of, I hate using this word, trauma that I went through. 
Like it destroyed me. So yeah, of course I made a stink about it. Here's some more receipts, all right? Throughout 2020, Gothics continue to smear the reputation of BGG. You smear yourselves. While admitting that she voluntarily left BGG in the cookout despite their efforts to address her concerns. No, you didn't. You blocked me and you pretended to address my concerns. You have no desire to address the concerns if if my concerns conflict with your beliefs. <laughs> Clearly, this is when both communities made a collective decision to begin documenting. And here is an email that is, is, I don't know what this email is. I guess it's someone in BGG talking about me, something that I said on Twitch. Here is a tweet of me <laughs> saying, if any of my fellow black creators are curious about the cookout or the black girl gamers, let it be known that they turned a blind eye to colorism and harassment because their members felt I was problematic. I mean, what is the standard of problematic? You turned a blind eye to harassment because you felt as though I was problematic. So obviously anti-bullying isn't an objective rule in your community community. You can bully people as long as they disagree with you politically. If they disagree with you politically, have at it. Drag their reputation through the mud. Who cares? Ooh. And then here's a video of, uh, <laughs> of Long Beach Griffey. I don't agree with everything that he says, but he has some funny videos. Uh, and, and here I say, I found a community trailer for the cookout in BGG. If this isn't you, then stop normalizing that behavior. 100%. Like if you want to get mad at, you know, me perpetuating harmful stereotypes towards women of color, then maybe you should stop creating those stereotypes. Stereotypes originate from somewhere. They didn't just manifest out of thin air. Simply look on Twitter, look at the responses that I'm getting from fellow black people. And these are people who claim to be all about black excellence. Yes, what you're doing is excellent. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, oh yes, so excellent. All right, and so again, before we could re- <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Let me read this again. Again, before we could remove Gothics TV, she removed herself voluntarily from the Black Girl Gamers Facebook and disregarded our efforts to investigate. Before you could remove, so you had the intention to remove me from your Facebook community. And you probably would have, considering you had already removed me from the Twitch team. So you were going to anyway. But logically, objectively, let's just think about this for a second. If I'm getting an onslaught of vitriol from your members, why the hell would I stay there? Why would I stay in the Facebook community? Hello? On May 29, 2020, dis during a dispute between Gothics TV and Twitter users over her remarks concerning George Floyd, we advised our community not to engage with Gothics TV and to block, unfollow, or mute her posts if they were triggering. So here is, it looks like an announcement in Discord. This is a formal announcement. You must read this. As a lot of you have already seen on Twitter, there have been yet again, whoa, 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 whoa wait, hold on a second. So again, this is a, a uh, an announcement in the official Black Girl Gamers Discord community. And you're implying that your community of thousands of members have seen my post on Twitter concerning Black Lives Matter and George Floyd, which by the way, Black Lives Matter is a Marxist organization. Yeah, all those donations, oh yeah, they're living lavishly in their mansions in white neighborhoods. Aren't you glad you marched for them? Aren't you glad? So you mean to tell me that members have seen my comments about George Floyd and Black Lives Matter, and yet you didn't see any harassment from your community members directed towards me? Isn't that interesting? And so like I said, communities like this, they cultivate an echo chamber. They shelter you from the real world and say, if you are triggered by this, don't interact, block her, just don't engage for the safety of the community. Just don't engage with her. Mm -hmm, yes, but when it's time to Yas Queen up and down the timeline as a result of putting this together, you're all for it. BGG has not heard from Gothics TV until this week when she went on a publicity run promoting her documentary while continuing to admit the fact that she left both communities voluntarily to create a perception that is beneficial for her personal game. Well, I didn't think that my tweet was going to get that many impressions. I'll, I'll be honest, but since... You know, I have attention on this channel. Absolutely. You bet your ass I'm going to promote the documentary. If you if you seriously think this is just about money, it's just about clout, then I am more than happy to let you watch the documentary for free. Let me know. Unblock me, okay? Send me a message, and I'd be more than happy to let you watch 
the Gothics documentary for free. And then you can see the hate that you conveniently have been blind to for the last couple of years. Let me know. I'm happy to share it. Our silence up until now should demonstrate our lack of ill will towards Gothics. However, in her pursuit of success, we can't permit her to defame BGG or distort the truth by scrubbing her own accounts and admitting what truly happened when she publicly speaks out about BGG. Omitting what truly happened, you mean how you omitted the part in the DM where I specifically named a member of your community who was making fun at the fact that I had a suicide attempt? You mean admitting like that, right? Hmm? Ah, I see. Hmm. All right, then it says, too long didn't read Gothics. I, man, I should have just skipped to this. Gothics joined and left BGG voluntarily, even though we removed her from the Twitch team. She wasn't an employee. I never said I was. She violated our community guidelines, which we cannot provide objective standards for what those guidelines are. Don't be anti-Black. Don't be problematic. What, what, is, what do these words even mean? When she raised allegations, harassment post community exit, she blocked us, hindering our investigation. We hope that this clarifies the relationship between Gothics and BGG. This is the first and last time we will address this and you have the receipts the first and last time is that a promise <laughs> oh my goodness thank goodness that is that is over that is so long okay so as i mentioned this isn't about bgg specifically this is about dei you know if bgg evaporates tomorrow dei the marxist ideology is still going to be prevalent in the world and so my suggestion to anyone who encounters dei is first of all, inform yourself. Instead of getting outraged at the fact that gaming companies or movies or uh, the education system is being infiltrated with these woke ideologies, you have to know your enemy. You have to understand what it is you are up against. BGG and, and their ilk claims to say that I, I hate black people. I'm anti-black. No, I love black people. I love Manning Johnson, who was recruited to be a member of the Communist Party back in the 50s. And he wrote this pamphlet that describes all of the communist goals that they try to achieve by weaponizing skin color. Okay. And I'm going to read you something that is pretty uh, prevalent for this conversation. By the way, you can find a PDF of this online. Just type it in Google. Google color communism and common sense PDF, you'll find it. So this is from page 37 and it's titled The Real Uncle Toms. And it says, um, the top white communist leaders know that racial as well as other differences between people have existed over a long span of years and will continue to exist even after centuries of re-education under communist rule. They also know that these differences can be used to play race against race, nationality against nationality, class against class, etc., to advance the cause of communism. If you think that your identity comes from your skin color, you are primed and vulnerable to be used as a useful idiots for communists. Labeling opponents is a specialty of the Reds. Reds is communist. Smear is a cardinal technique. Any label found in the red stockpile you may be sure is carefully made and selected to draw the maximum hate to the person or persons the group or organization to which it is attached so basically that's what they're doing to me calling me anti-black and problematic too few americans in our day have the courage of their convictions too few will fly in the face of leftist opposition too few will stand up for truth in the face of the ominous and destructive storm of me tooism or the communist ideological regimentation that hangs like a pall over our country. Many take the attitude that is better to be safe than sorry or conclude after a little difficulty or several reverses that if you can't beat them, join them. There are very few people in this world who will stand up to Marxism, who will stand up and speak out against the wokeness, if you want to call it that. Not a lot of people will, because what happens when you do? You will be ostracized, you will be othered, you will be labeled, you'll be slandered, you'll have harassment campaigns made about you. And not a lot of people want to go through that. And so what do most people do? If you can't beat them, join them. I don't want to join them. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thanks. So yeah, this is a very short read. I highly Highly recommend you guys pick this up. Honestly, I read this after I got canceled and I was like, like my jaw dropped. It will blow your mind. But yeah, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Um, like I said, this really has nothing to do about Black Girl Gamer specifically. DEI is going to continue to permeate our society. And unless we know how to effectively argue against the ideology, it's just going to keep growing into a bigger monster than it is. And so, yeah, I would highly recommend this book. Like I said, you can find a PDF of this online for free. I might not change anyone's mind who belongs to these communities. I, th that was not my intention. But if this video changes someone's mind, then that's 
that's good. I'm cool with that. I've done my job. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of long. Um, they, they're claiming they're not going to respond to me again. So we'll see. <laughs> well, only, only time will tell. I really, I'm hoping they don't because I just don't, I, I don't really like having back and forths with people on social media, especially when the other person knows damn well that they're lying. It, it's exhausting to me. It's like, you know, you're lying. So why are you engaging with me? Ah, uh, yes, it's because of pride. But yeah, my offer still stands to black girl gamers. If the admin would like to watch the documentary, I'm more than happy to share it, uh, a copy with them. And if they want to sit down and have a conversation with me, hear me out. I can hear them out. I'm more than happy to. The offer still stands. You just got to unblock me first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Vanessa. Most people know me as Gothics. There is no redemption. There is no conversation. It is whatever we say about you is truth and you're done. One friend did it with us. He heard our side of the story and he was just like, oh, wow, this is completely understandable. I see where you guys are coming from. Then he writes us later on. We weren't the right type of black friend. I'm breaks on this. I, just, I don't know how much out of this head time I need that I'm at right now. I need to clear my head. I haven't been feeling myself. myself. I think it's time for me to take a break break. Like I just feel like I'm kind of floating without any purpose right now. They brought up my boyfriend. They wanted to know if he was white because if he was, that would have made sense to them of why I was acting like this. Seeing people automatically say, okay, the reason you have a problem with this is because you're racist is, is an issue for me. I said, we need to stop doing this. I'm talking in a matter of 24 hours, I became Over the course of four days, I had more racism towards me from other people that looked like me than in my entire existence on this planet. What's the next step once they realize I can't, you know, attack someone on social media and make them disappear? So what do we got to do now? Is physical assault okay? And I just see like these pools of blood and I'm like, okay, I'm panicking now. <laughs>